Hello, miners. Munchmo here, and welcome back to another weekly snapshot video. Uh, we originally were not supposed to be getting a snapshot this week, but somehow that happened anyway. I don't know. This snapshot is all about lighting, it seems. Uh, oh, look at that. Piggies make little sounds, too. I didn't realize that. Fuck. I hear you make noise. Whatever. Anyway, so this one's all about lighting and specifically slabs and stairs and stupid things that they were doing with light, but there's more to it because they completely updated the entire lighting engine. So, um, we're going to start by making it night. Uh, time set. Let's make it 16,000. Okay, so it's night time. So check this out. If you look at this, you'll see supposedly the lighting on each side of this here. Pumpkin. Oh, wow, that looks a little different too, doesn't it? Huh, the F3 screen sure has changed. Okay, so block lighting 11, 11. Well, I thought says supposedly you get more light from jack-o'-lanterns in the face but it doesn't seem to be that way uh however let's check furnace furnace oh furnace we'll, we'll cook something up in a furnace and see if that's the case here furnace and i need some coal and i want some let's do do do, do, do. oh you know what here we go let's go with sand because they've also fixed the sound for sand all right, so let's get rid of that. Let's see here. Okay, so we're looking at this. Block lighting 9, block lighting 11, block lighting 9. See, look at that. So a lit furnace gives out 11 up front and 9 on the side. So how do you like that, guys? That's pretty cool. I guess it's actually 9, 10, 11, 10, and then 9 there or something, or 11, 10, 9. So it's not really giving off light here. Or maybe it is. I don't know, but... They've also fixed our stair and slab lighting. So let's uh, build ourselves a little little stone hut here. And let's take a look at what happens when we do these weird things. Uh, what am I doing? I just need overhead, right? Overhead lighting, whatnot. Oh, I hate those spider noises. Damn spider noises. I know that we had issues when we... Uh, like we inset some of these things here, right? I don't remember exactly what they were, but let's just do this. And oops, that's not what I meant to do. The spiders are so disgusting. How do you like that? It's not fully black. We put blocks on top of it. Right, and then that usually kill it, make it black. Now it just looks darker. Put a pumpkin there for effect. Oh, I can't do that. So let's uh let's go out here. Glow glow. Glow, not flow stone. Yeah. So glowstone there. See, look at that. It's not too bad. We put some lighting on top of that one. And it doesn't mess it up. See? Look at that. That's pretty cool. And we'll stick some uh stairs here. And then a stair here. And here. See that that's not too bad. We'll stick a uh, Glowstone there, and then we'll stick things behind here. All those funky lighting glitches are pretty much gone. Isn't that pretty cool? They also removed the black spots generating when the world generates. And, um... Yes, hello, zombie. You want to be my friend? You, you do, don't you? And, uh, stuff like that. They've also changed nether lighting, too. Uh, it's better. However, unfortunately, this whole, um, lighting thing... It's kind of screwed up single player. As you can see, chunks are still not loading in, and it's worse than ever because of it. Because um, initial lighting on worlds takes a lot longer. So when you start a new world, you, you have to like let it do its calculations. But then you get better performance overall, it seems. so. But as you can see, we'll zoom out here. There are still chunks of the world that aren't fully loaded. You can actually kind of see some of the cool lighting effects if you look closely at the underground that we can see through here. Um, it definitely, definitely looks a lot different. I like what he's done with it. It's really cool. But just some weird shit happens when you first start a world with this new lighting system. Uh, supposedly they've also fixed some, uh, sound issues with blocks placement. Like the glass, when you're placing it and breaking it, or when you're placing it to make the breaking sound, I'm pretty sure it fixed that for all of that. Um, supposedly at some point witches were white. Wrong. Wrong witch. Um... And they fixed that so that they aren't. Uh, 
hey dude how's it going you're not going to attack me uh there were originally notes that said that witches were spawning in the jungle or not the jungle the swamps and there were huts and stuff but uh i've looked around and i haven't found any witch or any hut naturally occurring yet so i'm pretty sure they were included by accident and the uh, notes that said something about that are actually gone so uh and it, so yeah that that's that so uh, I think that's pretty much all there is to cover in this snapshot, guys. If I missed anything, please feel free to let me know. What are your thoughts on the new lighting system? Have you checked out the snapshot? What do you think? Personally, I like the new lighting system. It's pretty cool because it gives a lot of more benefits, like the directional lighting and those black spots that are gone. Um, pistons. Oh, yeah, pistons. That's right. They actually changed pistons. Let me just destroy this crap so I can get back to default lighting here. Uh, pistons now let less light through than before. So we'll go ahead and put that there and put that there. Actually, they don't seem to let any light through. Maybe they have to be extended. Let's get a redstone torch and see, shall we? Okay, redstone torch. Can't really tell if that's letting light through or not. I have no idea. Let's encase this redstone torch and see. Get out of my way, pig. Thank you. Okay, so I guess it's letting some light through. And then if we destroy that, it's not letting any light through. Okay, interesting. So that is a huge change with the way pistons do. Etho is going to be pissed. Um, I love the new lighting system. I hate the fact that it takes so much longer on single-player worlds to initially load up and stuff. And I mean, we already had enough problems with these chunks not filling in properly. It's even worse than ever. I was... Let's see if I can make it happen here. I'm going to generate some new terrain, I think. And I was moving faster than the game could update to the point where it wasn't... It was like a chunk error at the edge of the world and not... Um, and not just, you know, a rendering error like this. Let's see if I can get it to happen. It may not happen because the world's mostly loaded or I may be even traversing chunks I've already been in. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but it was, oh, oh, yep, there we go, got some lag there because of it, but it was really annoying. I'm just going to keep traveling in this direction, see what happens. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I'm just going to keep moving and recording until I get something, and I'll cut you back in when I see it, if I can make it happen. So, I created a new world to see if I can make it happen, and it doesn't want to happen, um, but it took forever to create the new world. I mean, like, a couple minutes it was just building world or generating train or whatever. So, I mean, you see how high the sun is. It was about there when I got into the world finally. It was the strangest thing. Um, so this new lighting engine is neat, but it definitely messes with things when you first start a world. Of course, I'm in creative, so I'm moving around a lot faster than you would normally be if you were starting a survival world, which is where it would really give you trouble. Um, but, yeah. I think that's about it, guys. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, let me know what you think of this stuff and anything that you may have found as well. Uh, I look forward to hearing from you, and I will see you next time.